South Lanarkshire is home to more than 300,000 people, many of whom live in its bigger towns, including Hamilton and East Kilbride. The fifth largest urban community is Blantyre, a town with a growing number of pensioners and widows. Their community and leisure hub was built in the 1980s, and it is called the June Stewart Centre. This hall is very, very important. I'm a third generation in this hall. My gran was one of the first members of the Peacefield Senior Citizens. This hall was gifted to the Senior Citizens by the Council on the 8th of November 1980. And my mental health wasn't good before I joined here. If you have come here, interacting with all the pensioners, it's great. I walk out here every day with a smile on my face. It's, it means everything. My aunt was in Kip Care up there um, and she came down here once a week. That was the only time she left her care facility was to come here, you know? So that these kind of things and money can not buy them. I mean, we're not talking we're not talking hundreds of thousands of pounds, we're really not, you know, just to get a basic a basic living for them. It's no fair. Uh, I lost my husband last year. Uh, suddenly, uh, and basically, uh, I, I, I was in the house for three, four months. Uh, was looking out, was to speak to anybody. I haven't got any other family. They're only with me, myself and my husband. Uh, and it's been a refuge for me. To be quite honest with you, if it hadn't been for the women up here, I'd probably still be sitting in the house more often than trying to come and getting to meet other people and things like that. So it's been a lifeline for me, basically. One story was that she identified a man who needed help, you know, electricity or gas, just by talking to him. She was then able to reach out to people to get the appropriate help. The man's house was then decorated, heat and put back on and put back in the right track. So it was absolutely amazing in this hall also. They bring along citizens advice, money matters, a lady who can advocate for people, so help them fill in forums. So these, they're, they're vital services. Councils across the UK are coming under greater financial pressures, from Birmingham City to Falkirk, with some budgets being cut by up to half. The June Stewart Centre is one of the leisure facilities facing being cut from the centre of Scotland. It is our contention that there has been historical underinvestment in the facilities. Do you agree? Yes, I do. Uh, if you look at the halls and you look at all our infrastructure, it's been a chronic underinvestment. In order to keep the facility running, the community of Blantyre has come together to fight for the June Stewart Centre throughout 2023 and 2024. We've had enough of being ignored, we've had enough of cuts, we've just had enough. Blantyre deserves better, Blantyre demands better. Council members have engaged in dialogue with the Blantyre community. Nothing is saved, nothing. We've got to work to kind of extend, by, I think there's a commitment to extend by one month to allow these schemes to be set up. But then it's very much based on the money we've got and whether or not people have an interest in a community asset transfer. Libraries. A library is a library is a library. It's not a community lending corner, it's not a kind of wee book corner or you know, a reading group in a library. It's a, it's a place of learning, it's a place of sanctuary, it's a place of health and well-being. It's two years ago, February last year, 2023, when I put in the council, Barnard Community Council minutes, about the storm that was coming when I warned you about it, that we were going to have problems here. However, they are being put in a challenging situation and issued this statement in spring 2024. Executive Director of Community Enterprise Resources David Booth added, The challenging financial landscape being faced by all Scottish local authorities has forced the Council to make a number of very difficult decisions in order to bridge a budget cap of more than £20 million in the current financial year alone. That is on top of many years in which funding for the Council has not risen in line with inflation and other costs. And further difficult decisions will need to be made by this and all Scottish Councils in the years to come. We note other local authorities have already had to close some libraries in previous years. 
as part of the Council's budget agreed for 2024 and 2025. Arrangements were put in place to work with local communities on ways to mitigate the closure of any libraries, community halls and other facilities that South Lanarkshire leisure and culture require to withdraw from because of their own funding issues. With those discussions continuing, all facilities remain open thanks to the £1 million Community Fight Back Fund that was agreed as part of the Council's budget. A £150,000 Future Libraries Fund was also agreed, and this and other funding will be targeted at reprovisioning some services in those areas where South Lanarkshire Council will have to withdraw from libraries. We, and SLLC, will continue to work with local communities to develop reprovisioning options that will be best for their areas. I don't agree with all closures. And I've already said it, stated my concerns in every community council I've been to about the concerns. But so far, the decisions so far are that either they go for an asset transfer or they get closed. As for the libraries, you're right. Okay. The, there is discussions just now to get the library into the leisure centre. And the reason for that is two quick reasons. One, the cost of the library and the rent they're seeing, and what leisure are thinking about is pennies and pounds. There's no social um, cohesions at all. It's all about money. The community members are not giving up. That's it. At the end of the day, we might we might achieve absolutely nothing. We might achieve absolutely nothing, but nobody can say we didn't try. Nobody can say we did not give this for a shot. At the end of the day, I'm a great believer in saying, you know what? I can look in the mirror and say, I tried. Yeah. I tried everything I could for you. The government keep on saying about people's mental health. What's this going to do to us? It's really sad. That's all we're looking for. We're looking to help them. We're looking for them to give us an opportunity to help them, to save money, but at the same time improve and invest, which sounds bizarre given there's budget cuts, but invest in our community and invest in us. South Lanarkshire, like many local governments across the UK and Europe, need to find ways to make cuts, with almost £13 million needed right now. We've got a pay claim coming in from the unions for a pay rise, so that's going to cost us money. And that budget was one of the worst budgets we've ever done, and that's because of the fact is that there's no money there. For Blantyre, the June Stewart Centre is more than just a hall in their town centre. It's full of Blantyre, but the lost without it, to be honest. Because it's not just this hall, it's all the halls, to be honest with you. So, on a Saturday afternoon as well, I know my neighbour, she comes up and she goes a, a knitting group. And a Saturday hits for two hours on a Saturday afternoon. So, and she's terrified as well. She's like, what am I going to do? She said, if that shuts. Because again, she's a, she's a widow also. Personally, with you know no particular hat on, these things matter to me um, because I see how how much they're valued by the people who use them. I really worry, as a mother of three young boys, I worry about what will be left for their future. Um, if there's no youth services left in Blantyre, which in, in fact is an intervention, because they work hand in glove with the police when there is antisocial behaviour, which in fact, antisocial behaviour is worse in Blantyre than it is um, in crime rates generally across the rest of South Lanarkshire. With the pressure on the police cuts as well, so we need to look at the global picture here. Um, with police numbers reducing on the streets, with youth services being withdrawn, with facilities being shut, what is going to happen? For me, as I say, as a mother of three young boys, that terrifies me. So I take all this very seriously because it's real life. What if the hall goes, the club goes, and there'll be no coming back to it? Libraries and other facilities are also at risk of being cut as the UK navigates a recession in 2024. South Lanarkshire Council recently told STV News that this is the toughest budget the council has ever known. We have made impossible choices, we have suffered horrendous cuts, but I promise the people of South Lanarkshire that we are fighting back. We are fighting for them and this budget helps us to do it. The people of Blantyre acknowledge they may not win and save their haul, but are determined to fight as leisure continues to be lost. Unfortunately, it might be a case of he who shouts loudest. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm prepared to shout the Blantyre, absolutely. Well, to, to quote my strapline, Blantyre deserves better, Blantyre demands better.